It's 2.10 a.m., April 15th, 1912. It has been over two hours since Titanic hit the iceberg, and time is running out for the hundreds still on board and in the water. All the lifeboats have managed to escape the ship successfully, with the exception of Collapsible B, which landed upside down after being lowered from the officers' quarters. Wireless operators Jack Phillips and Harold Bride have been tirelessly working sending out distress calls to ships in the area, with several of them responding and making their way to Titanic. One of the ships is the Cunard liner Carpathia, which is steaming towards the Titanic at her top speed of 17 knots. However, it will take more than an hour before she actually arrives. The wireless room had now flooded, Phillips and Bright had to abandon their post. They both emerged onto the boat deck. Jack Phillips was never seen again. Harold Bright had made it on top of the capsized collapsible B lifeboat with a few other men. Just before 2.20am, the ship's lights burn out and she is plunged into darkness. As Titanic disappeared beneath the calm Atlantic Ocean, over 1,500 people were thrown into the sea. A fight for survival begins. Some of the lifeboats return to try and rescue survivors, while others are too afraid to return in the fear that the extra passengers will swamp the boat. Shortly before 4am, Carpathia arrives at the scene and begins picking up Titanic survivors, after which she heads for New York. <laughs> 